Hello students, I hope all is going well. Here's a guide for your next assignment, which is a discussion over um, President Roosevelt's Pearl Harbor speech. And so as always, you need documents to help you with this. There are several documents in the rhetorical analysis folder, the art of rhetoric, that I would pull up and review. As always, you will need the elements of rhetorical analysis. Um, We've looked at this so many times, so you should be very familiar with it. I would review the appeals, because you may wish to address the author's appeals in this passage, or the speech. The rhetorical analysis planning guide is new. This is essential to helping you write an essay. Uh, today we're not writing an essay, but become familiar with this and use it for the activity, and it will help you later on when you have to write an essay. Pig sag, we've talked about this uh, rhetorical triangle, and so I would pull that up, and here's the speech. And so, real quickly, here again, you've seen this several times, so it's really the first few pages that you will use, which has the main questions for rhetorical analysis and resources, so you can have precise language in your writing, in your response. And so, for example, if you're talking about the author's attitude or his tone, instead of just saying he's angry, you can be more precise and say he's livid, okay? He's enraged, and so that is just better diction, and it gives your reader more insight into your analysis. One thing on this that we've discussed a little bit, but you need to look at it again, is arrangement. This is key to writing an essay. And so how is the speech organized? How does it start? Where does it go? Are there shifts? How does it end? And so this is uh, essential when writing a paragraph about uh, rhetorical analysis. The new document that I'd like to point out to you, well, I put PIGSAC in here. You've seen that before, but I've broken it in, down into the different parts, the persona, what, what what are the different hats that the speaker is wearing? He's a president, he's a patriot. Just knowing that or being aware of that will help you analyze and get a little bit more insight into the speech. Audience context, of course, is always important. What's going on at the time in, in today's situation, the uh, United States was attacked by Japan, and so that's important to know before you begin to analyze a speech. Here's a planning guide. This walks you through the steps. When you have to write an essay on your own about a speech, this will show you how. So first step is to look for any unfamiliar words and define them. That, you know, some words are essential to understanding the passage, and so it's important that you know that, know the vocabulary. Step two is to pig sack the speech, and I do this. I write P-I-G-S-A-C on the document, and I try to list as many different personas I've encountered, and all the different purposes. And the genre is just one. It's a, it's a letter or a speech or an essay. Um, so this is very helpful to do. Step three are the appeals. So as you see an emotional section, write that box it up and in the margin right he's appealing to um, our fear in this section. Um, four is the rhetorical devices so this, we may not be very familiar with all the different terms like antithesis and juxtaposition but if you notice repetition you can mark that down and then try to go through your notes and figure out these different strategies. There, uh, A lot of writers too use parallel structure and so become familiar with these terms. Um, and number five, like I said, is the arrangement, which is the key. Divide the passage into sections. It may be by paragraph. It, you may have, you know, three, four, five sections in an essay or a speech, and then your essay will analyze each chunk separately in a paragraph. So, one of the best ways to divide a passage is to look for shifts where the author changes direction our tone and you just look for the transition words just as we did in Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address but yet however and then you would write the essay and so today we're just working on these steps and here is the actual
assignment. If you go to, uh, it's a discussion, it's still a discussion grade, and so you would go to Wiki Discussions, go to the Pearl Harbor Annotations, and what a Wiki does, it allows everybody to contribute, and the uh, comments are saved, and so when you open this, you will see what everyone else has annotated and noticed about this speech, and that will help you respond to it later on. And so here's the, here's the actual speech. Here's what it is. the assignment is asking you to do. Using the rhetorical analysis planning guide in your notes, complete some of the steps from the planning guide on this speech delivered by uh, Roosevelt to Congress on December 8th, 1941. And here is the beginning of the speech. There should be a space there. Oh, I need to edit wiki contents. So I will go in. And see here, there's the space, I don't know. And I would just start making some observations and some comments, and I have to try to make five entries according to the directions. So I'm going to do the easy one, show you all an example. Here is Mr. President, Speaker of the House, members of Senate, House of Representatives. That is part of his audience, so I'm going to highlight it right here. And over here, I'm going to make a note. I'm going to call this audience, which is part of PIGSAC, and I'm going to uh, explain it just a bit. Roosevelt. just talking to uh, the Vice President, the Speaker, the Senate, and the House. He is talking, he is addressing the entire nation. He's addressing our allies, the citizens, the military. He is addressing, uh, of course, the Empire of Japan. And so I would make a note for that. And on the right-hand side of this column, Roosevelt's audience, the Congress, the nation, its citizens, its allies. to the planning guide, one of the other steps that you're supposed to do is divide the speech into chunks. And so maybe I think after reading this speech that at the very beginning here, he's talking about the attack and he is explaining that we were at peace with that nation and we were having conversation with that nation. And then all out, out of the blue, all of a sudden, uh, Pearl Harbor was attacked. We had no idea that this was going to happen. And so to me, that's really these first three sections or four sections right here. And so I might even add a line here to indicate, I think this is one part. So if I had to write an essay, I would write about this part right here. Um, and make a little note. That's not a very powerful purpose verb, and so I would honestly pull up my rhetorical analysis elements and see if there's a better verb here, just to show, and we don't want to say that, to um, justify would be a good verb to use in here at some point, okay? And so, um, okay, maybe establish, do a verb to establish. Oops. 15. 
have to do. And so this is the first part of the assignment. Go through, annotate the different parts that you think would um, help you write an essay. How would you structure this? How do you come to understand this speech? And remember, you can talk about appeals, you can talk about the repetition, you can talk about um, the different rhetorical strategies. Okay, now once you've done that, submit it. And your changes will be saved to this document. And so whoever pulls this up will see what you've already written. And here, the next person can add to it. Okay, now that's the first part of this assignment, which is due on Tuesday. The second part is a journal entry. And so what you will do for the journal entry is very similar to what you did with the Sandra Cisneros entry. Is you create an entry and you write the, for this exercise, you will write the introduction and one of the body paragraphs. And um, it should be 500 word minimum. Okay, that's it.